Commander Joe Fussell, what are we out here doing today? So we partnered with um, other law enforcement agencies in our, in our region. Uh, we teamed up, we uh, broke them into different groups to do a line search and a grid search throughout a specific area in the Carlton Reserve. What's different today than other days? So today we have some other agencies uh, with new officers uh, that haven't been here in the past week. They've joined us and locked arms with us uh, to deploy them out, see what we can find. We're covering many, many acres, so we need all this manpower and all the staff that we can, we can, we can grab. How does that help? How does that help? It's tremendous. This is a tremendous, uh, massive land. Uh, the more people, uh, the more effective we are. And they bring resources in, such as swamp buggies. These swamp buggies are important for us because you're at higher altitude looking down and you can get into the deeper water, the deeper marsh. Um, about 75% of this area is underwater. So we can't see how deep it is. And it's more effective to bring these higher vehicles into, the, into those areas. Now, experts say that with experience, a good uh, b person with outdoors experience, someone who knows what to eat, how to fish, that type of thing, can actually survive indefinitely out there. There's plenty of fresh water, there's, there's fish there, and so it's entirely possible Brian Laundrie, who was an avid camper, could survive if he is indeed still alive and if he is indeed out in that reserve. And so that remains a focus of the investigation as they try to locate this person of interest in the disappearance and death of his girlfriend, Gabby Petito. The well, the city of Moab issued a press release just moments ago saying that they are going to conduct an internal investigation to see whether the officers acted appropriately. The city saying that there's nothing that immediately raises any red flags, that anything was done wrong, but there are enough questions from the general public. You know, some people praising the officers for their professionalism and others criticizing them, saying they should have done more. Maybe they could have prevented Gabby's death. So that's something that the city is going to look into as it conducts this internal investigation in the coming days.